Hi guys, let me show you in this video how you can get all sorts of data pertaining to over 8,000 US stocks and ETFs directly from EX, the Investors Exchange. In Excel, you need to have the free Deresco button already installed in Excel. So let me start by selecting a free empty cell, for example, the cell A1, and then I move over to my Deresco wizard on the right. I click this Tools button, and then Insert Function, Live Feeds, and then from the list of the Live Feeds providers that you see here, I'm going to select the EX and then the ME option here. This has pasted two spreadsheet formulas, one at cell A1, which is already selected, and the then you can see on the formula bar, the formula is named DSLive ME and takes two input arguments. The first of which is the cell A2, which contains the header name of a created object. The second argument is set to false, and that will be the most usual case. If you set it to true, what is going to happen is that you will be automatically navigated to the website of uh, where the data are coming from, from the, the website of the EX exchange. So if you select now the cell A2, you see here the formula is DS, which takes input. If I click on the formula bar, you see this range. This contains the input data to the DS formula, which helps to create the so-called request object. And this request object has basically an element called service, which, which is set to code, and then another element called symbols, which is set to MSFT, which is the ticker of the Microsoft share. Okay, this request object has content, which you can see on the right on the Deroscope Wizard. And this object is passed as input to the formula in cell A1, which produces the final output, the content of which is visible again on the Deroscope wizard to the right, which you can see here. If I scroll down, you can see basically what this code service from EX delivers to Excel. Now you can have all this data directly in the spreadsheet as follows. You select any cell, for example, this one here, and then you go to the wizard and you click go and paste object contents. And this is going to paste a single array formula, which you can see on the formula bar again. What basically does is replicating all the data that you have previously seen inside the wizard here, but now these data are replicated on the spreadsheet level and can be used, can be linked to several other functions in the spreadsheet. Now you have the option to do that not for this whole set of data, but only a smaller portion of this as follows. For example, let me select these three rows here of the wizard. And then I move to an empty cell, that cell here, the D1. And then I click Go and Paste Object Content. And that has pasted now another array formula. This time, this array formula it occupies only three rows and two columns and displays only the selected items on the spreadsheet. I can even do that with a single cell, for example, let's say I'm interested on the closing price, this here, I select that cell. And then I move here to a free empty cell on the spreadsheet and click go paste object contents. And now I'm having just this 85.83, which is the close price of the Microsoft share right now. Okay, now all this information is with regard to the service called code, but you have, of course, the option 
to select that cell and you see there is a little uh, drop down that appears on the right if you click on that you can see several more service types that are available starting from the top like batch book chart and so on for demonstration purposes an interesting one is the deep case i select that one that because my spreadsheet is in automatic calculation mode has already uh, recreated everything this time with regard to the deep service so you can see here on the columns d and d the output that is coming from the deep service and uh, so for example if you click on that cell next to the beach here you can see the wizard displays the set of beat codes that are available from EX. So this is basically the order book that is made available through the EX provider. You can of course select the cell A1 and you can see this whole information here on the wizard and you can scroll down and for example if you click on the asks you can see here for example you have five different ask codes with the respective sizes and timestamps. Uh, let me go back to the service cell and change to something different for demonstration purposes. I'm going to choose news. And that here creates uh, on the spreadsheet, brings to the spreadsheet whatever EX supplies under the news service. Uh, if you select that cell A1, you can better see the whole output which consists of several uh, columns the first one is a date time of the news received then you have like a headline a source a url a summary and related information and as an added convenience if you click on that cell for example the url cell i do that now this deriscope basically opens your default browser and uh, brings you, navigates you to that link that supplies this particular news item. Okay, I minimize that web browser. And uh, the last piece that I would like to show you that you need to know about, for example, if I choose here the service called chart, fine. I'm requesting basically chart information with respect to the Microsoft. If I select the cell A1, this is the chart information. If you see the dates here, they start from 20th of November and they go down to basically the one yesterday, which is available 19th of December 2017. So basically it's only one month of data. Why? Because the request object here, if you select that cell, you can see on the wizard that this request object contains something called chart range, which is set to 1M, which is one month. Uh, why? Because this is the default created value by Deriscope, because nowhere on the spreadsheet you supply a chart range. So Deriscope by default supplies one month. Uh, you can change that, for example, to one year, if you would like to have chart data that span a one year period by entering manually here an additional pair called the chart range and set one year but the easiest way to do that is as follows you select for example that empty cell and then you go to your wizard on the top here this is the type selector uh, you select the one prior to the one that you see here, for example, the any request, and then you click that little arrow and select any request, EX. And then in the browser area, you go to the service and you change the code into chart. Now you need to click on that little button to display the optional input parameters as well. And now you can make it visible the chart range input which as i said before is set by default to one month click here and change that into one year and 
paste the whole thing in the spreadsheet. That has basically the wizard created for you the formula that creates an object that includes the chart range. And now all you have to do is go back to your uh, uh, formula, the DS Live any formula, and change this input parameter to link to that generated object as follows. Hit return. And that has created a new output. If I select the cell A1, you can see here on the wizard the, genera the generated rows, they span a period of one year because they start from the 19th of December 2016. And if you scroll down, you reach 19th of December 2017. Okay, that brought me to the end of this talk. And thank you for watching.